Hi, hello, my name is Than, short for Nathaniel. So, welcome. <laughs> so many of you are new from my last Pat video, so I just wanna say thank you so much for subscribing and yeah, I'm so happy that video is doing well because I was really stressed <laughs> about it. Like, I don't know, there was just a lot of moving parts and yeah, sometimes I can just overthink things, but I'm glad it's doing good. I'm glad so many people like the video and yeah. So again, just welcome to my channel. Um, I also wanna say that I post a lot of looks that you don't see on here on my Instagram. So I'll put in some photos. I do a couple live streams a week on a new beauty streaming platform called Newness. We do all sorts of fun looks on there, just sort of random things like uh, one series that I've been doing recently is I do a tarot card reading, sort of. <laughs> we'll say drawing, more like, and, um, but, you know, very unofficial. And then we do a look based off of the tarot cards. Actually, here, let me just show you. So this is the set I use. Here's some, this is what I used for my last look. Just very casual, you know, you can come hang out with me in the chat and ask me questions about anything in my collection, whatever. It's, it's just really fun over there. We usually have a little drink, some wine, a gin and tonic. So there's a link to that page um, in the description box. And if you follow me on there, you can sign up to get um, either email or text notifications too, uh, to get notified when I go live. Because I don't really have like a specific live schedule. It's just sort of whenever I'm really feeling it and ready to play with makeup. And yeah, so that's the best way to get notified is to sign up and follow me. So yeah, it's free and oh, also, um, an important thing about Newness is for watching live streams, commenting in the chat, liking other people's messages, you earn these crystals and then you can redeem the crystals for all kinds of really nice prizes. There's been um, a Glow Recipe Serum, the Biologique Recherche uh, P50 Lotion was just a prize. Um, the Tatcha Water Cream's been on there. They have a really cute tote. Where's the tote? I'm gonna grab the tote. So here's the newness, official newness tote that you can redeem crystals for. It's super sturdy. It's actually really roomy and really cute. And it's not hard to earn crystals. You just get them casually by watching. You know, it's, it's really easy and fun. But there's a lot of really cool people on it. Bobby Brown has been um, live on there with Daniel Martin, who's done uh, Meghan Markle's uh, makeup for the Royal Wedding. Katie Jane Hughes has been on there. Like sometimes there's like um, pretty high profile guest speakers. <laughs> um, different brands go live on there. Lots of makeup artists, estheticians, anyone who likes beauty, hair, skin, you know, at makeup everything yeah so check it out in the description box below i also list all the products that i use in the description box as well as my photography website i'm a photographer and my instagram will also be listed down there prettier than gram anyway sorry for the long intro but i feel like i just had to talk about some stuff since there's so many new people so anyways today i'm going to be talking about evo beauty they have a few different products. Um, I picked up a couple of their uh, velvet color sticks, their uh, stick blushes. i am sort of been testing out a lot of different cream and liquid formulas recently, and I plan to do like a sort of roundup video when I'm done testing all the formulas, comparing them. And I have the shades Be Kind and In A World. This one is Be Kind. It's sort of like a bright orange. And then this one is In A World, and it's like a nudie rose very pretty. They have two other shades and all together there's just like, it says something like in a world where you can be kind, something, something, something like that. You know, it all forms like a, a sentence. <laughs> they seem like a really cool brand and I'm excited to get into it from the swatches and sort of just playing around with it already. Um, they feel super creamy and really nice. So I'm excited to give this a try. And then also I'm going to be revisiting um, the Pat McGrath foundation and concealer because from my last video I got some requests to do some more Pat McGrath things. So I'm also going to be doing another look with uh, the Utopian Dream palette. I wanted to do one more comparison for um, Astral Amethyst Moon. This pink shade from Divine Rose 2 and then the Astral White pigment on top. So let me just do that right now. So the Astral White pigment is in the Mothership 1 and then it also comes in her separate Dark Star kit. So I have it both. I believe it's the same thing. You can see like sort of same vibes, but Amethyst Moon just has that super 
like shine. Yeah, here, you can really see. Doesn't really compare. Okay, so I'm starting with the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer, just for some light hydration. I have um, dry combination skin, and also I have pretty prominent rosacea, but um, my rosacea is more just of like blood, <laughs> you know, like the blood vessels or whatever, however it works. Um, it doesn't really give me too much texture. I know there's, you know, there's different um, sort of kinds or severities and mine is just a uh, severe color. <laughs> sometimes I color correct, sometimes I don't, you know, I think it really helps to test the level of coverage of foundation. So a lot of times when I'm doing foundation reviews, I won't color correct. And this is an instance of that. <laughs> I have shade light two. Um, I got this when it first launched. Should still be good. <laughs> I haven't used it too much because I don't think it was my favorite. So here's the shade. It's super runny. So I'm gonna be careful not to spill this everywhere. <laughs> In the concealer, I also have the shade uh, Light 2. Because we're gonna be testing out these cream foundation sticks, I'm just going to powder under my eyes really quickly and then powder the rest of my face later probably as well. And I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath um, Sublime Under Eye Powder. This is my favorite powder, period. <laughs> as you can see, it's like one of the only products I've ever hit pan on and I really hit pan on it. I'm literally like scraping out like the dust. Okay, so I need to decide if I'm gonna be using these together or if I just want to stick with one. I'm not sure, maybe mix them. Here are them mixed together. The orange one sort of takes it over. I think for today, I'm just gonna go with the nude one, which is In A World. It does feel velvety to the touch. I'm gonna switch to a sponge to sort of um, perfect the edges. So this shade seems to be pretty subtle. I don't know, I'm gonna attempt building it up. It actually looks really nice and smooth on the skin. I think I prefer using a sponge just because it does feel a little bit thicker. Like here, I'm gonna put a little bit of bareback from Nude Sticks on the back of my hand. So this is bareback from Nude Sticks and then this is um, Inner World from Evo. They're pretty similar. The Evo looks to be slightly more rosy and bareback a little bit more brown. And the formulas do feel pretty similar, but I'll say that the Evo one really does have this sort of velvet quality. I mean, it doesn't look super matte on the skin, but it also doesn't look super glowy, just sort of skin-like. So I've sort of blended them a little bit more and you can see, at least in person, I can see that the Evo one has a slight more of a, like it has more of a sheen. It's sort of keeping its creaminess. And this is the matte nude sticks. There's also the Bloom formula, which is a, dewy version, even though I don't really find the matte one to be extremely matte or anything, or drying rather. But uh, yeah, the Evia one is keeping a little bit more of a sheen and it does feel slightly creamier as it's drying down, slightly creamier. And a little smoother, a little bit smoother on the skin. And even though this one looks more matte, very similar. And I just wipe them both off and neither are really leaving like a stain or anything. You know what? I'm just gonna apply this one right on top of this. So this is Be Kind, that orange shade. Let me just put it right on top and I'm gonna blend it right with a sponge this time. It looks pretty pigmented, but actually they blend out really nice. It's just adding like a nice heat 
but it's it doesn't feel like you know too like too pigmented or something but pigmented enough where i think it would suit a variety of skin tones wow i really like it to be honest really nice formula and in these little tiny sticks you get nine grams in the nude sticks one let's see in nude sticks you get seven grams and i believe let me just check the prices really quickly so the vova color sticks from evo are 28 dollars for nine grams and the nude sticks are $34 for seven grams. However, I will say I've seen nude sticks 50% off multiple times. So that really brings the cost down and makes them a lot more attractive. And there are a lot more colors of nude sticks. They have a wider range, but you can, I so I believe for your first order over $30, you get $6 off for the EVO. So you still can get a discount on the EVO sticks if you're interested. Okay, so let's get into Utopian Dream again. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna be taking this large fluffy number eight brush from the Katie Jane Hughes X Spectrum collection. And I'm going into Secret Eden, which is that light matte in this palette, sort of light rosy. Okay, now I'm taking the wrapper number three, this super tiny little pinpoint pencil brush. Let's try out this uh, Trio Chrome Blitz Sex Stream. Super creamy. When you touch it, it's almost like a cloud. <laughs> Seriously. the um, other sort of Blitz Astral shade, the gold. It's like a gold bronze. I'm gonna take the Astral shade again. I took this Q-tip and just sort of tried to clean up right here. I went a little bit too low in the inner corner with that astral shade. And I, I pretty much cleaned it up. I'm taking the Crease Pro, a little bit more of Secret Eden, that uh, light matte. I don't think I'm gonna add um, a deeper shade to the outer corner like last time. I'm not sure. I think instead I'm just gonna add some of this bronze liner from Victoria Beckham. Uh oh, I'm crying, I'm crying. I need a tissue. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, okay, I got the tears, we're all good. I feel like I wanna add a little bit more of this Trio Chrome. I'm taking the Worker Pro from Sonia G into the Trio Chrome shade. Hopefully this will work good with a brush. We'll see, I guess. I think this is gonna add that dimension without going back into that same matte from before. Now with this Refer 26, I'm gonna go into the Skin Show shade. I think the eye look is good. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Sky High. For brows, let's switch it up today. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Keir Weiss um, Brow Gel. Um, I've only used this a couple times and I don't know if any of you remember my review. It's basically because there was just this like really big shipping fiasco, but whatever, you know, I'm just gonna, I have it, so I should use it. Um, so this is the shade Deep Brown. So let's see. Not bad, you know, it's not a bad brow gel. Um, it is super wet. I feel like if you're not careful, you could probably easily smudge this around. Um, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury one, my favorite, <laughs> um, it's so easy to control, has a really nice teeny wand, sets down really nicely, doesn't crack, doesn't flake, none of that. Best one, the Charlotte Tilbury one is the best. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more powder, the Gucci one here. 
contour with the Shakuta Angled Face Brush and the Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette in light gold. And I'm using the light taupe side. Okay, for a highlight, I'm gonna go into another one of my favorites, as you can see. Um, the Fenty Freestyle Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And I'm gonna use my favorite highlighting brush, the Wayne Goss Airbrush. And this may or may not be mixing with a few other highlighters because I haven't cleaned this brush in a little bit. So I think there are some, I think I'm seeing a little bit of the Dior in there and maybe something else too, I don't know. But mostly the Fenty. Great combo, but you know, unintentional. Yeah, the Dior is definitely in here. I'm seeing a lot of that pearlescent glow, you know. I might as well, I'll link both. I'm gonna link the Dior one too. This is, <laughs> this is the one I've been using a lot. So from the new Dior, I love this one, it's so good. Really wanna try out the coral one. Okay, so I changed into this sweater. I sprayed my face with the Catrice Prime and Fine uh, Dewy Setting Mist. I'm gonna go in with the Glasting Water Tint from Romand in number five, Rose Splash. Okay, let's zoom in. Something about the shade of this foundation and the concealer, where's the concealer? Something about these shades are a little off. I feel like um, even though they're the same, they claim to be the same shade light too, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like the concealer is much more yellow than the foundation. It's sort of weird, they, they don't exactly match up. And I also feel like the concealer is a little bit darker than the foundation as well. I do love this concealer. Maybe I need to get the lightest shade, I don't know. The foundation, the problem with this for me is not the finish or how it goes on. I think it goes on fine, you know? Um, looks skin-like for the most part and, you know, it, lo it looks pretty good. However, I feel like this one does not wear the best. I think, you know, around like the five to seven hour mark, um, it starts to show and it starts to break down, basically. I just remember this being sort of finicky in how it wears. Like sometimes it wears down like quicker than others, you know, other times. For the price of this, I just feel like there are ones that are a lot better for cheaper and at the same price point or around the same price point better as well. I'm also creasing already over here pretty badly. And I usually don't get any major creasing like around my mouth, you know, after like an hour, you know, you know, throughout the day, I might, at the end of the day, I might have creasing around my mouth, but, and bunching a little bit by my nose. So yeah, I, I really don't recommend that foundation. The concealer, if you can find a really good shade though, I think is really nice. It has great coverage. It's super creamy going on and just really nice. Of course, this powder, I will never stop recommending it. <laughs> Even though the packaging is super cheap, um, you can see all the writing rubs off and it has this sort of like pointless mirror. It, it feels cheap, uh, but the product inside is the best. I love, 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 love this powder. And these blush sticks from Evo are great. I really, really like the formula. They actually do feel velvety when you're blending them out and they have a really buildable texture. Oh my God, gosh. Ah, I just found a fuzz. Gosh, that's gonna be so annoying in the close-ups <laughs> when I'm editing this later, whatever. <laughs> I can't help it. But I would definitely recommend these sticks. Great job, EVO.
and I'll be comparing these with more formulas as I get closer to my roundup. I don't know when that's gonna be. That might be at the end of this month or it might be going into September. I don't know, There's I have a lot of formulas. Once again, thank you so much for watching and welcome all the newcomers. So happy to have you. <laughs> um, thanks for the continued love and support. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Prettier Than Graham. Follow me on Newness so you're notified every single time that I'm doing a live stream. Okay, that's all. Goodbye. <laughs>